So what I have here is a function f of x, 3 minus 2x plus 4x squared. It's quadratic, which you guys can call polynomial, right, by name. And I'm asking for f prime of a. Guys, this is the derivative. I want you to find the derivative, which defines the slope of the tangent line at any value of a. All right? We know that we make the slope of the tangent line by taking a limit of a secant line pulling q back to h. And I'm not even going to make the graph today. I'm just going to go right to the graph. All right? It's rise over run where we make h go to 0. That said, we have to plug all of this function in to our quadratic. And we want to develop an equation for the derivative. All right? That said, here I go. So it equals the limit as h goes to 0 of 3 minus 2 times a plus h plus 4 times a plus h quantity squared minus, plug in a, 3 minus 2a plus 4a squared. And again, I'm very careful to make sure my signs stay correct. It's typically algebra mistakes that kill us. And again, this is called the definition of derivative as we go forward. But this is how we do it every time. I get 3 minus 2a minus 2h. I see this as a squared plus 2ah plus h squared. So I'm going to distribute that and get plus 4a squared plus 8ah plus 4h squared. And then I'm going to distribute the negative. Minus 3 plus 2a minus 4a squared. All right. Here we go. Find all the stuff, right? Everything that doesn't have an h had better cancel. And it does. All right. Now, there can be like terms still. That's okay. But everything that didn't have an H is gone. And actually, there are no like terms this time. All right. So, I get the limit as H goes to 0. Negative 2H plus 8AH plus 4H squared all over H. Cancel that H out. Boom, 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 boom. And now the denominator you know, we can let h go to 0 now. The denominator is gone. So what happens here, last step, f prime of a, the derivative from here all the way down, all right, equals negative 2 plus 8a. This goes to 0, right, because you plug in 0 for h, and 4 times 0 is 0. If you are doing a secant line, guys, and you actually have an h distance, that can have a value, right? That would be then a secant line. You wouldn't do a limit, but a secant line could still be there. And again, that is the derivative. That is the slope of the tangent line at any given value of a. All right? That kind of makes sense. You guys getting used to this? If you feel like we've done it over and over and over, it's because it is the basis of everything we do going forward. All right? So if you got this, you're sitting good. How about, could you guys do one more? All right, let's do a hard one. That's one of the easy. That's one of the easy. Let's, let's let f of x equal 1 over 1 plus x. Let's use a rational function. This is a rational. All right, again, we should be able to see the range of domain of this in our head. All right, for tomorrow. But I want to find f prime of a. All right, and I'll leave this up for a second, but then I can pull it down. And again, this takes a lot more algebra to work through, guys. So we're going to try to find the derivative of this rational function. Its domain is all reals except negative 1, right? Its range is all reals except 0, okay? This is a reciprocal function shifted. It's rational. Here we go. We plug it in, and it gets ugly very quickly. And what I mean by that, it's not, I suppose it's not horrible, but it's 1 plus a plus h minus 1 over 1 plus a all over h. And to make it clear this time, 
I want to be clear that I'm finding the common denominator between these two that I just put in black parentheses on the board. So I'm going to multiply by 1 plus a top and bottom of this term, which doesn't change it. And I'm going to multiply this one like 1 plus a plus h on this term. Now, oh, I was nice because the one top being 1, there's not much binomial multiplication, right? I was really ugly. I had to put a binomial up here. But I didn't. Or the book didn't. So I can write this out this way. 1 plus a over minus, and again, distribute this negative, right? Has to distribute. Minus 1, minus a, minus h. We want to make sure that we get all that signs correct. And this is all over h. But remember what I said about this h. We want to learn pretty quickly that that flips up into the denominator, right? We're multiplying the top and bottom by 1 over h here. At this point, and out here across this point, okay? That cancels this one and brings the h to the bottom, all right? I'm not going to leave it in there. It gets kind of mucky if I do. All right? But here I am. What cancels? The a's, the 1's. And again, I am 95% sure I'm right now if I'm doing this problem because there's an h left. No other terms. I got negative h over h, so I can change this to negative 1 over h. And now the bottom is no longer 0. So I can put h to 0 in here. I can put that value right in. All right? Because the bottom is no longer 0. And I get f prime of a equals negative 1 over. 1 plus a times 1 plus a is 1 plus a squared. And if you see the pattern on the last one, this pattern is right here on this one also. I'm going to let you search for it for a couple days. There are patterns to all these problems, and eventually we will stop doing what we call the definition of derivative. This is the proof. All right, this is the proof. All right, and we have found the derivative of that rational function at any value of a. 